you know, I think Kefima interests me a lot because I just think that whole lead up's gonna be crazy. And man, this build up will be chaotic for sure, man. He deserved that beating for being a liar. Mm -hmm. Lying. It was compelling, intriguing. I think at 140, I would have Teofimo. Excuse me, what? At 147, I have Ryan Garcia. And at the catch weight, like anything in between, man, I think I literally think it's a 50 50 fight, man. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. I'm praise God to get money back for the YouTube video. Finger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what it is. The doctor's in the house. So check this out, man. So look. So today, I want to talk about um, this call out from <laughs> Teofimo Lopez on to Ryan Garcia. You know, it's very interesting because, you know, those of you that be keep up with boxing, you know, Ryan Garcia called out uh, Teofimo a little while ago, man. A long time ago. Even before the Devin Haney fight. Before he even secured the Devin Haney fight. Devin Haney. We have a long history in the amateurs and Teofimo, you know, he could talk his ass off and uh, his dad too. He deserved that beating for being a liar. Mm -hmm. Lying. But I learned from him from the streets, man. You don't lie. So that'll be, that'll be crazy. You know, I think Teofimo interests me a lot because I just think that whole lead up's going to be crazy. You know, he called out Devin Haney and uh, uh, Ryan Garcia and I mean, I mean Devin Haney and Teofimo Lopez. And the thing that he was, he was right about is that man this buildup will be chaotic for sure man i i like to have fimo just because it's just it'd be more chaotic and just funner you know it'd be a bard up <laughs> i think the buildup might, might be actually more competitive and more entertaining than that than the fight itself you know in the ring you know um but these are two two great competitors you know what i'm saying um uh I think this would be an interesting fight, you know, um, and of course Teofimo wants it now because, you know, when you're on the top of the mountain, not, not, uh, uh, everybody wants to fight you, you know what I'm saying? So right now Ryan Garcia is, is seemingly on top of the world, definitely on top of the 140 pound division, even despite him not even getting the championship because he missed weight, right? Um, but what, what I think is that um, it's an interesting fight, a fight that I would like to see even more now, even more so now. It's compelling, intriguing. I think at 140, I would have Teofimo. Excuse me, what? At 147, I have Ryan Garcia. <laughs> And at the catch weight, like anything in between, man, I think I literally think it's a 50 50 fight, man. You know what? <laughs> I literally think it's a 50 50 fight. I don't know, man, but you know what? You know what kind of annoys, annoys me? I, I, I like Teofimo a lot, but what gets on my nerves is all the excuses that he gets, man. He gets a lot, the benefit of the doubt from a lot of people a lot of the times, man. Like, for example, you know. <clears throat> When, when he when he when he has a bad performance quote unquote bad performance against uh Cambosis and he loses oh it wasn't the right Tia Fimo oh that wasn't really Tia Fimo yada 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 and then when he has a lackluster performance against Sandor Martin where they say oh that wasn't Tia Fimo's night you know he just had a bad night you know but when it gets Josh Taylor oh that's Tia Fimo that we know he 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 looks great against Lobachuk well that's a Tia Fimo that we know shut up bitch oh my god <laughs> well, why are you discrediting his opponents. What about, did you ever consider that uh, maybe Cambosas actually had a training camp and he actually analyzed and studied uh, Teofibo and, and, and figured out what he could take away from him and implemented a game plan? The same with Sandro Martin, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever considered that? You know, so I just, I feel like it's very disrespectful um, uh, and, and inaccurate, you know. Sometimes you do have bad nights, you know. It, it, it's sports, it's boxing, it's studies, you do have a bad night. But did, 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 has, has anybody saying that Devin Haney had a bad night against Ryan Garcia? Hey, yo, hey, niggas get shot every day, B. You be I nigga. Tough, right? Well, I mean, he did have a bad night. <laughs> and the, part of the reason why he had a bad night is because Ryan Garcia was on his head top. He was on his helmet. You know, what I'm that's why he had a bad night. You see what I'm saying? So don't don't, don't take away from their opponents. So I think the reason uh, we have to we have we have to we have to uh, admit and comprehend and accept and acknowledge the reason why Ryan Garcia versus Teofimo is a good fight is because you know we don't Teofimo he's kind of inconsistent you know say look how he performed against Jermaine Ortiz you know I don't want to see Jermaine Ortiz again but Teofimo has some inadequacies inadequacies in in in, in his in his game that Ryan Garcia can exploit and same 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 with Ryan Garcia and, and Teofimo you know Ryan Garcia has some has some inadequacies that that that, that Teofimo could take advantage of you know what I'm saying that's why it's an interesting intriguing fight so uh, give give these fighters they 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 they, uh, they 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 respect you know I know a lot, a lot of people like to call them Cambozos but uh, Cambozos is, Cambozos is a good fighter you know of course I think Teofimo is better I don't think he's a, I don't think Cambozos is a cream of the crop but I'm tired of people giving uh saying that oh Teofimo uh, when he doesn't perform well oh it's because he had a bad night because he had some other stuff going on shut up bitch <laughs> 
Well, then, I mean, it's, it, give 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 that same give that same leniency towards other fighters. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, I, <laughs> you got you got you just got to keep it funky, man. So, I think because Teofimo, it is what it is. Sometimes he before he's he's very he's he's very inconsistent, or he doesn't do the things that we think a top fighter would do. So, and and because of that, I think that this is a very interesting fight. Uh, I think it's a very interesting fight. Like I said, I have Garcia as long if it's at 147. I have Garcia if it's at 140. I have Teofimo in between. I think it's a 50 50 fight. And depending on how the how the odds go, man, I might put money on Ryan Garcia. You know what I'm saying? And, but like I said, the build up is what makes this fight even more intriguing and fun. <laughs> It's just consider, I didn't even consider the fathers yet. And Teofimo, you know, he just talked his ass off and uh, his dad too. Imagine uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Hector Garcia, I mean, sorry, Henry Garcia and uh, Teofimo Lopez Sr. Oh my gosh, man, both of those dudes are gosh dang slow. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they're not slow, but they be saying some wild off the wall stuff, man, just as much as they sons. So this fight is all around intriguing. I, I hope it gets made. You know, this uh, two people will talk about September, December. I don't know if that's real. I don't know if Ryan Garcia is seriously entertaining it. But if this fight can happen, man, whew, that'll be another banger for boxing, man. So y'all, let me know what y'all think about that. Who do y'all have in the? Let me know who y'all have in the comments as well, man. Appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. And the doctor's out. See you on the next one. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.